stealth camping in the cold in the truck alone video I'm going in for heart surgery and mama don't want to have to drive back and forth because it's a long ways from here <clears throat> so she figures she can park in the garage at the hospital get her parking ticket and try and stealth camp in the truck and not get caught worst can happen I guess they ask her to leave or give her a ticket anyway this is the all the sleeping pads that we have put together as far as the self-inflating ones we even got the double one in there folded in half and at the moment she's putting blankets on the bed of the truck and it's wrapped in the <clears throat> hill contacts poncho so they won't slide apart <clears throat> and then we're going to take it out and flip it upside down that string will be on the bottom all right see what happens next okay i'm setting up the back of the truck i'm going to try to make it warmer right now i got cardboard down through the whole entire bottom well this section right here all right through there i got some cardboard then i put my two moving blankets on and i'm trying to put them up along the edge of the wall this time to maybe block out some of this wind so i'm trying to do that i just got this corner here that i didn't get but uh i ran out of blanket but i got it up on that side yeah and up on that side and there but i'm trying to make the to block some of the cold air that breezes through here so this is the second part I've done. And as I add each layer, I'll show you. Well, actually, up in here where the railway Yeah, I'm going to actually stuff this up in here. Along this the whole way. To, again, help me block some of this wind. Or the coldness that's in here. <coughs> so I'm going to go through all and do all that. Okay, so I took a, a quilt. This is, I think it's kind of like a down quilt. Yeah, it, it's worn out. Well, I took a, a, another heavy blanket. Alright, so I took this heavy blanket. And I actually shoved it in the corners up here to kind of help... Uh, maybe keep some cold air coming through there so i put this blanket on top it's a fairly thick quilt it's seen its day but anyways so and again i tucked it on this side too so to take and give me another thing of insulation so let me back out of here so that's what i have so far Bring your okay, <clears throat> after I put in my blanket, the next step, we have these uh, coolers that you get when you have medicine come to your house all the time. Uh, they're like little tiny Pro-Pack coolers, Pro-Pack Pro insulator. But I'm going to put them up against the wall to kind of insulate a little bit too because I only need this little thing. And since I'm not going to have Pappy in bed with me for his insulation, I'm going to pack that there to help with some extra insulation. So we're going to see how that works, if it works. Okay, my next level, I am putting like this Milo blanket all on the bottom to help me on top of my sleeping pad. But I put it all down, so I put a, two Milo blankets down. So that's my next step. One's a shelter from the still thing and the other one's uh, from what? The SOL pack. <laughs> okay, the next step to making my bed after I got the Milo blankets in is I'm putting my styrofoam. I'm using the ones we use off the cots and stuff. I got them on next, making a padding for my bed. So I got them. 
I don't know if you can see how thick that pad is, but I got the underneath, I got doubled over what we usually put on, and then that. But if I put my hand this way, you can see how thick that pad is. So, let me see if I can do it. Putting my hand down, that's how thick it is. Well, this is the top, so it's about my whole up to my wrist, up to there, thick. So it's like that thick. Anyway, it's pretty thick. I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm hoping it stays that thick. Now I gotta get my, uh, so this is what the bed looks like so far. Okay. So just to show you inside the pad, I, I've got a metal thing, or yeah, a reflector thing. I've got the, this self-inflating air mattress inflated up. I've got my gear, Trip Hunter gear inflated, mat inflated. And then I have, then I have, down here, this one is a double inflating thing. It's a double mat. We just folded it over in half. We unfolded it and we got it self-inflated. So, and then it's about four fingers deep. So there's that. Okay, I can actually sit up. I'm sitting up on the bed right now. My head is like, ah, that much to the ceiling. Well, that much to the ceiling. But I'm sitting up. So I can sit up in here and look out. But anyway, I got my bed made up. I'm hoping all this insulation helps me out because it got cold the other time we went camp camping. But my pad is really pretty thick. So... On top of my sleeping pads that I have in here, my self-inflating sleeping pads, I'm going to be using my One Win top quilt. I'm going to use my regular sleeping bag and then just my camping pillows right there. But I'm not going to unroll them yet until about time for me to get into bed because I'm going to try to get there. So I'm not going to get into them yet, but they're there. I also brought an electric blanket. If I need my electric blanket, I brought my electric blanket. So, I have two electric blankets, actually, if I need them. Because usually one's for me and one's for my husband, but my husband's not going to be with me. So I can use his too if I need to. But I have two electric blankets, my one quilt, a regular sleeping bag. And I forget what that sleeping bag goes up to, but it's a fairly warm sleeping bag. We have a double one that is a uh, warmer. But again, my husband's not going to be with me, so I'm just going to be me. So anyhow, there's that. I'm going to be using the lights. I'm going to use my, these are solar panel lights. I like these. These actually put off nice lights in here. But anyways, I'm going to use, let me get them in the right direction. If I can see it. These are the solar lights. I have this one, and then I also have this one and they're both solar i got them fully charged ready to go and i also have the auto heater fan 2000 watt heater my husband just bought this so we're going to try it it just lights into like a cigarette lighter so i'll be using my jackery i also show you here's a video of him doing this box opening Well, I'm giving this little thing here a test. The auto heater. I uh, took it out of the box. It comes with a little stand. It's got the plug-in thing. And it has a fan. It'll run if you don't want heat, which that could come in handy later. Uh, it pulls 200 watts as. It's running 100 and... <sighs> 20 watts off the Zachary cigarette lighter plug-in so anyway I got her plugged in 
let it run a while and see what it does. I guess I can turn off the, that part. But anyway, it's putting out a little heat and warming up the dog finally had to move. <laughs> but the object is like when we was in West Virginia the other day, I like to cruise it to death and I can't have a hot fire heater back there in the camper in the cap of the truck because there's just no room in that little truck bed and I didn't get a big enough truck to have room for anything. But apparently that thing, it looks like according to the numbers, it'll run five hours on Zachary 500, which that would be sufficient. And then I can recharge the Zachary off of the solar panels and stuff. All right. So much for that. There's many. She decided she was laying there when I put that heater down. She finally got up and moved. <coughs> it took her a few minutes, but she did move. It warmed her butt up. That's all. Thank you. Okay, well, I just got these blackout count, blackout curtains. Well, I just bought these blackout curtains. They're blackout curtains um, to put up in my truck to black out some of the windows. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here's where I put my blackout curtains. I just bought these uh, blackout Quincy curtains blacks out 99% of the light uh, these are 71 centimeters by 160 centimeters I did get two panels with this one two panels I need to go back and buy some more but um, and I just tore the box completely up but anyway that protects your home from heat and cold easy care anyways so I got these blackout curtains and then I just bought me some Scotch um, Velcro sticker thingies. And what I did, you can see there's that one. Let me see if I can pull back from it. So there's that curtain there. And then as I come around, and then as I come around my bed, there's that blackout curtain. So I put it on there. I still need to get one for the back window and I need to get one for the front window yet. But these are the two I have so far. And even just by putting those up, it, it and I put it where I can still use this ledge. I wanna still be able to use this ledge here there's a ledge so I did put it where I can just do that and they're just velcroed up here I just got a piece of velcro and I stuck it on there so I can take them off put them up and down it's nah it's real easy and the material that's on my roof I can stick velcro up to it but so I just stuck up some velcro and put out these blackout curtains I'm gonna go outside and see how they look in a minute Okay, you can see how dark those windows are whenever I'm trying to show. All I see is this. It's actually reflecting the, but you cannot see in. That's dark. You cannot see. Let me see if I can step back and see how dark that is. It's so dark you cannot see inside those windows. 